Honored Coleman and Donato Coleman. The first question, how do you like Cologne? Well, um, I was in Cologne in the 60s, and it was very, very good then, and I think it's better now because uh, the younger musicians are taking more interest in their own expression. And as I was saying before, the uh, producer of this concert is a fellow musician himself, mm -hmm. and uh, that makes everything real healthy. Yeah. Because they understand, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some questions about your band. The Primetime Band is a real working band. Mm -hmm. And I heard that you have regular rehearsals with the band in Manhattan. Yeah, we are. Um, yeah, as you know, uh, Donato is my manager, and he's yeah. also a member of the band. And it's also and, your son? Yeah, he's also my son. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we, uh, we do a lot of rehearsal because of the particular kind of music that we are playing, which is called harmonics. And lots of people ask me what harmonics is or how do you play it, and I was trying to explain to a person today that basically harmonics is a philosophy and a theory that makes sound into logic that has some meaning to human beings. Yeah. That's basically what it is. And you work on it every week? Every time Regular. I can afford it. Every, every yeah. time I can afford mm -hmm. to have a rehearsal. Yeah. I have to talk to my manager, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the rehearsals are very important for you. Oh, well, I think rehearsals are important for anyone who's trying to perfect something. Yeah. I was saying before that basically um, it is ideas that make civilization advance and if 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 people aren't trying to to uh, to bring the kind of ideas that they have in their subconscious or their conscious to the surface, no one ever know. No one will ever experience the advancement of how each person could grow, yeah. because you know, um, without ideas, would all be lost. Yeah. You know. So, so I believe that every human being should try to strive and get his ideas into the arena of survival. Yeah. That'd be good, you know. Yeah. Al Coleman, you are one of the pioneers, or maybe the pioneer of free jazz, and your legendary recording called Free Jazz appears about 30 years ago. Yeah, that's right. And what's the difference between uh, free jazz and your music of today? Well, in free jazz, um, well, actually, I never called my music free jazz. When I was with the record company, that yeah. was a title because Uh, as you know, I, I started playing music just from having to um, find ways to express uh, logic and sound. And at that time, there wasn't a title, but I had always uh, called my new music harmonic, but their companies called it free jazz because the person seemed as if he was getting up playing from the top of his head. But I have never done that. I've always yeah. been very, very thought out in what I was trying to do. So I would think the difference between yesterday and today that it has gotten a lot better. Yeah. That's the difference. But they the changed something, mm -hmm. the instruments or others? Well, actually, um, uh, I originally wanted to have a large band, but the, the economics of uh, having a band is very hard to come by. So when I decided to put the guitars and the bass, I found that I could have a much larger sound. So I wasn't trying to become popular or Uh, rock anything. All I wanted to do was to expand on the compositional yeah. uh, things I was writing because I've always told uh, reporters that I considered myself a composer that performs. Yeah. And just before we came here, um, Leonardo had um, set up a, um, a festival of, of music that I would have written that some people would call classical music yeah. in New York at Carnegie Hall just two weeks ago. And, you know, I do a lot of writing but uh, it's so hard to uh, have that music played because most people just think of me as a saxophone player. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. What do you think about the presence and the future of improvised music in the, in the United States? The most, most musicians in Manhattan are playing standards, the, the old stuff, yeah. and mm -hmm. they are looking back. I think there are no new strong ideas, well, and um, there are no personalities who have the power to influence and to inspire young musicians? Well, I, I believe that in the West we have something called pop music, classical music, and jazz. Well, those titles, uh, there are many other types of sound that is just as creative and just as improvising. For instance, non-tempered music, people that play instruments like Turkish, uh, or, I mean, Chinese, uh, Russian, Jewish, African, all 
those kind of sounds are called non-tempered sounds, but they're called folk music. And until every person is allowed to, to stand on this stage like I'm standing and play without a category, then the problem that you're asking will not be solved until that happens. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to, to, to uh, inspire everyone to do that. Uh, you, what you're saying about musicians having to play standards or whatever, that's probably for economics, not for creativity. And basically, um, creativity, creativity will outlast all the economics, you know. And, but it can't outlast in a prejudiced way. It has to outlast in a very creative, eternal way. And, and I really believe that uh, every person that has a way of expressing something that means something to them can bring something to sound that has never existed before. You know, that's why I, I believe in homilotics. And I really think that when, when a day will come where that, uh, the categories of sound will not involve any race, but just sound itself. Yeah. And that's going to be a beautiful moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My last <coughs> question to the manager, to Leonardo. Mm -hmm. um, why do you give only a few concerts a year? Is it um, economical or artistical or mm -hmm. creative? Well, it's a combination. Of course, economics always influences business and how much you can expand. Also, to really present what you do in the best possible way, sometimes the resources have to come together, and that takes the time. So, but I think in the future you'll see more and more performances of the band. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. When will you come <laughs> the next time to Cologne? I'm going to come and play my symphony next time in Cologne. Symphony. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's the next thing we're going to do. Super. Okay. Okay.